Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very nice problem with logarithms. So we're given that log 5 is equal to x, log 3 is equal to y, and we are supposed to find log 6 in terms of x and y. So where does this problem come from? And what does log mean? Let's go ahead and talk about that first. So log means base 10. Let's just make that clear because some people use log for natural log, which is ln, unfortunately, but you know, that's just the case. But I use log for base 10. Okay, let's make that clear. Now, I'd like to say thank you to my fellow mathematician on Twitter for uh, sharing this problem and also allowing, allowing me to do a video. Okay, let's go ahead and see how we can solve a problem like this. These problems are very interesting because you're not really finding a numerical value, so it's kind of hard to guess. So it's, it's, really, it's a really good problem. So log 5 is equal to x and log 3 is equal to y. And our goal is to find log 6 in terms of x and y, okay? No calculators can help you in this case. So what is the relationship between these numbers? That's what we need to think about, right? We have a 5, we have a 3, and we have a 6. And the base is 10. So that's something we're always going to be using as a reference because that's how we kind of associate these different numbers. So I'll be presenting two methods. And let's start with the first one. First of all, I want to talk about properties of logarithms. And I'm going to be using base 10 for these. For example, if you have a product like log AB, then it can be written as log A plus log B. Now this works for base 10 as well as any base. So if you wanna change the base here, you must make sure that all the bases are the same, otherwise this is gonna be problematic or it'll become an equation. So that's the product property. If you have a quotient, then you can write it as a difference, again, with the same basis and Using the first property several times with the same number over and over, we get the power property, which is log a to the power n, and you can kind of move that n to the front. Make sense? I'm not using parentheses. I did use it in the uh, thumbnail to make it a little bit more clear because when I write log x, sometimes people say, what is this? There's no function called logx. It's log, so logarithm of x. I sh it should be understood, but anyways, I still wanted to make this more clear. So we're going to be using some of these properties and see how we can get to the answer. Again, you should focus on 5 and 3 and your goal is to get 6. It's called, kind of like a puzzle, kind of like a number game, okay? So here's what we're going to do first. I'm going to break down the 6 because that's going to give me some idea. Log 6, first of all, 6 can be written as by the way. If you do this like 5 plus 1, this is not going to help you even though this is a correct statement because there's no formula that turns log a plus b to something else. So when you, when you write it like this, this is definitely false, or write it like this, these are not true statements. But when I say not true statements, not in general, okay? Of course, there are particular numbers for which this is true, but that's another story, okay? So, 5 plus 1 is not going to help us. Let's do something else. How about 3 times 2? Since we have the product property, we can go ahead and break down the 6 that way, can't we? So now log 6 becomes log 3 plus log 2 because the product is going to turn into a sum. Okay, great. So that's what we're trying to find. So that means I do need an expression for log 3 and I do need an expression for log 2. But wait a minute. Log 3 was already given. So this is why. You probably know why, right? And I do need log 5. I mean log 2. Uh-oh. 2 and 5 are related. How? 2 times 5 is equal to 10. So in other words, log 10, which is 1, by the way, because it's log 10, base 10. Think about it. 10 to the power 1 equals 10. So this can be written as log 5 times 2, and that is log 5 plus log 2. So this is 1. 1 equals, what is log 5? Is it given? Yes, it's x. Remember? Log 5 is x. Yes, okay. So replace it with x and plus log 2. From here, you can solve for log 2, which is 1 minus x. Awesome. I also got log 2. By the way, that's not the only way to do it. 
because you could also think of it this way. Okay, I do know log 5, I need to find log 2. Why? Because I need it here. So to find log 2, I can write 2 as log 10 over 5 and then use the quotient property. And of course, log 10 base 10 is 1. And this is 1 minus log 5, but log 5 is x. So this is going to be 1 minus x. Make sense? So either way, you're going to get the same answer. And once you plug it in, you're going to get the following. Log 6 is going to be y plus 1 minus x. Of course, there's a lot of different ways to write it using commutative property. You can also write this as y minus x plus 1, negative x plus y plus 1, so on and so forth. But I think this will suffice, right? Should be good enough. Okay, that's pretty much the first method. I hope you liked it. Let me know. But we're not done yet, so stick around. We're going to talk about the second method now. So for my second method, let me rewrite the problem I usually do because even sometimes even I forget what the problem is all about if I don't have it written down somewhere. And some people say like, dude, you just need to have a script so your work is not that organized. Well, your work is not always going to be organized and I try to mimic that or maybe model it. Sometimes I make mistakes and then I realize I go back and fix it. Sometimes I don't even realize it and you realize it and you write it in the comment section. Oopsies, I messed up. But that's okay. Everybody, make, everybody makes mistakes, including myself. Okay. So the second method is going to use properties of exponents. Remember, again, that the base is 10. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, by using definition of logs, this means 10 to the power. Remember, this is the base. That's the exponent. And this is the result is equal to 5. From here, 10 to the y is equal to 3. So I kind of need to find 10 to the power something equals 6. Okay, if we don't know what the third one is, let's go ahead and set it equal to z. Why? Because x, y, z. Get the idea? Okay. Now, we want to find the z that satisfies this equation. Okay, what is the z? That's what we're looking for. Don't lose sight of that, okay? So now we're going to work with these two things. So question is, again, same idea, but this time with exponents, not logs. How can I use 5 and 3 to get 6? Kind of like a number game, isn't it? So here's the idea. 6 can be obtained by dividing 30 by 5. Wait a minute. Where does, that where does 30 come from? Well, it's 3 times 10. Hmm. Why did you use 10? Because it's base 10. And then, uh-oh, don't simplify this. Because if you do, it's not going to give you anything. It's just going to give you 3 times 2. Maybe it will work. Okay. It might. Like, let's give it a try. 10 to the power z equals 6, and then 10 to the power z is 3 times 2. I don't know. I got stuck. Okay, fine. Let's just pretend that we got stuck, so let's, let's not simplify. Okay? So now we have 3 times 10 divided by 5, and I want to get to this. How can I get to that? Hmm. Let's see. I do have a 3 and a 5. Great. Then I could probably do this. To get the 10 in the numerator, I do, I do need to do this. 10 to the power 1. Okay, that's 10. Remember that. Okay? I need a 3, which is 10 to the power y. So I'm basically doing it like this. 10 times 3 divided by 5. This is 10. This is 3. And 5 is, ta-da, 10 to the power x. Nice. And guess what? This gives you 10 to the power 1 plus y divided by 10 to the x. Now I'm going to subtract the exponents. Remember the rules of expon exponentials. And now this should be the answer. Wait a minute. 10 to the power z is equal to 6, but this is equal to 6. So this is z, and I was looking for z, okay? I hope you see what I see. So z, which is what I'm looking for, is 1 plus y minus x. And that brings us to the end of this video. I don't think Wolfram Alpha can solve this problem. I haven't even tried, but go ahead and give it a try and let me know what you find. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time in another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.